Not every one of us, listen to me, I beg you to God. Not every one of us in the script of ordination will live to 90 and 80 years. It's a truth that man has no capacity to bear. Everybody shouts, I shall not die but live. But certain people's script ends at 30. Certain people end at 40. And in the script of the immortals, long life is not how long you live. Long life is your ability to fulfill the reason why you enter time in the first place. So everybody is being pushed by this lost in the world. I shall not die. Even 80 years old man is still quoting that scripture. What do you want to stay around to do again? There was only one mindset that the elders had. The day they came to Jesus, they knew they died. They knew they entered a, a way that Satan would truly have many ways to hit them bad. And it was the way of love. It was because of Jesus that many of them, they became paupers in the earth. But even at that level, the Bible called them men of whom the world was not worthy. If you did not die to yourself and you came to Jesus, you are still alive. I can give you one truth. Satan have many products he will sell to you. How would you explain a generation that only had two options death or deny Jesus and they picked death as their own way of holding on you nobody put you in that they just say be faithful to his commandment and faithfulness is far from our borders a generation that knew what is ahead of them they turned to their families and waved them goodbye the missionaries that brought the gospel to Africa it was a death mission for them many of them knew malaria had broken out and they didn't even have a cure then and they entered here and died many of their graves is in jaws as i speak before they died they left a summon don't take my bone from my mission field leave me here so that when the trumpet blows let me rise from where i labored let my spirit ascend from the ground where my blood fell from i i, I don't know where that breed went to because now everybody came with something Jesus promised him. There was something they are waiting. Lord, you have not given me yet. There were those who came to give. They didn't come to collect. They laid their life down. And Jesus spent them. He used their life to build his kingdom. How can God build now through this generation? A sensual generation looking for what to receive. Men that became foundations. Some of them, Jesus says, you will not be the gates. You will not be a window. You will not be a door. I will hide you somewhere inside one pillar. I will use cement and bury you. They say, yes, as far as I will be part of your building. Never seen by men. And their duty was they were faithful there. Some of them prayed as intercessors until they died. No ministry outwardly. But they were responsible for why healing crusades were packed with manifestation. This was how they did their own work. They knew their own place. There was a woman who always went ahead of Reinhard Bonke. She will arrive two weeks before he goes to any place. And her work is to lay down in that place and intercede for two weeks. And when the man will show up, all he will say is in the name of Jesus. Somebody went ahead. Her reward is only with the immortals. No man told her thank you. It was one day that him, Reinhard Bonke, came out and said there is somebody. Don't be deceived. There is somebody.